Konami, you done goof. So it's been approximately two hours of the Forbidden List being out, and I've already broken Sword Soul. GG's, 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 Sword Soul boys, it is our time. Today, my followers of the sword, I will be showing you how powerful Deng Long, the first Yang Zing, is with Sword Soul, as well as, of course, a deck profile. This Sword Soul deck is actually very close to what I was going to play at my last event until Saber picked the different deck. Saber, why you do that to me, dog? Why play Sword Soul? Of course, big dog, while I have your attention, I just want to say that I am putting test hands on my Patreon as well as a special thank you for helping me pay my editors. But without further ado, I present to you the Sword Soul deck post the June 5th, 2023 Forbidden Lens. So while I said that there are some similarities between this particular Sword Soul deck and the deck that I was going to take at my last event, there are some huge differences because of Deng Long, the first Yang Zing. In this particular video, not only will I be going over those differences, I'll also even be showing you some cool combos that you can do with these differences. I don't think that this is a definitive build. It's just something for you guys to get those juices rolling so you can figure out something to take this even further. Of course, big dog, in case you were wondering, where did I get this sick mat from? You guys can always go to the CaliEffect.com to get your Yu-Gi-Oh! Generations mat. Today, we have it in cloth and in rubber form. But while you're there, be sure to pick up some Raven Wing sleeves as well while supplies last. These are the choice of the Cali Effect when it comes to Premier Sleeves. With that being said, let's go ahead and break down this deck. There's three copies of Sword Soul Moye, two copies of Taie, still the best monster or the best card in the entire deck past turn one, uh, three copies of Long Yuan, three copies of Incredible Ecclesia, and then of course, three copies of Sword Soul Emergence. This is pretty much standard for every single Sword Soul deck, and even with the new Dang Long card, nothing else really changes. There are a couple of choices where players would consider to play different ratios, such as only playing one Taya, and also only playing two Ecclesia. Like I said before, I think that Taya is the strongest monster in the deck past turn one, because it's literally just a free synchro and a foolish burial, and Ecclesia is really good because not only is it a great card going second, it also allows you to get into Taya or Moye, depending on the situation. But one thing that is a little bit different from this profile than the others is that we're actually playing a bigger Tingy engine to help supplement Denglong. There's three copies of Ashina and three copies of Adara here. This is actually really, really good as if you open Ashina and Adara, you actually have full combo, which I think is amazing. It's phenomenal. But even more importantly, Adara is that level one worm tuner monster that you're going to be able to use to get into Denglong, which are level four monsters. Now there's two copies of Vishuda and one copy of Shithana, but I'm also going to be playing Mapura as well. Now I'm testing Mapura as of current, but what I've noticed is a lot of times i'm gonna need an additional level four monster that i can just easily summon to my side of the field and a lot of times i don't want to banish shathana baby mama because this card is actually a disruption on our end piece um another thing i want to point out is that Mapur is actually a really good effect there's actually a lot of times where our opponent wants to get rid of our sword so token maybe it's through like an effect like catch tier or rise heart this card can actually negate the activation and destroy it which i think is pretty decent but more importantly i'm testing it because it is an additional level four Next is two copies of Heavenly Dragon Cycle and two copies of Vessel. These cards are a little bit more important now because they allow you to get into your combo, especially Vessel because Vessel plus Ashina is even a bigger combo and I'll show you at the end. Now, unfortunately, you do have to run some bricks into this deck, which makes me a little bit hesitant to play this version over the original version that I was playing. And also, don't worry too strong, gang. I'll be including my original version on my Patreon just as another special thank you for helping me pay my editors. But these brick cards are Suwani and Xiaoto. Now, you could completely drop these cards for Pot of uh, Desires. The reason why I decided to opt not to play Pot of Desires here is because I wanted to show you an insane combo that requires both of these cards. It's actually really, really good. But unfortunately, if you're playing Pot of Desires, banishing either of these two cards like completely kills the combo. So I decided to drop the Desires in order to play this. If you guys don't like Desires, then maybe consider playing these two cards because at the end of the day, they are still pretty good. Suwani and Jalto are still worm monsters that you could Sword Soul Blackout, but also are a level two tuner monster 
and a level four monster that you can summon to your side of the field. Lastly, there's one copy of Nine Pillars of the Yang Ting. Sometimes you'll search this card, and if you guys are playing the Desires version, this is the only one you keep. You just drop these two, and ta-da, you still have a decent combo. Now, for the hand traps, the format is going to be a little topsy-turvy due to the Forbidden List, but I think Ash 100% goes back in because of Labyrinth and Branded being some of the best decks. There's still Droll and Lockbird, which I'm a little bit hesitant to now play inside of the main board, but still sticks. And then there's two copies of Infinite Impermanence and two copies of Effect Veiler, bringing us about 42 cards, which is my perfect number for this deck. Moving on to the extra deck, there's actually some cuts that had to be made. In my original version, I did play Chaos Angel, and I think that this card is really, really good to be able to secure games. But in order to make this deck as powerful as possible, I actually cut out that card and decided to play some other cards. One Butter on the Floor, one Long Yuan, one Xing Ying, one Xiao Feng, two copies of Shi Xiao, two Boxia, one Draco Berserker, Tingi, and of course, the boy Danglong. There's then one copy of Yazi Evil, one Shaman, and three Monk. Monk is actually really, really important because I'm running an increased number of Tingi monsters. But hypothetically, if you're really feeling confident, you could cut a Monk for a Chaos Angel, and there you have it. Okay, guys, so the really, really basic combo is going to require Adara and a way to resolve your Sword Soul monster in hand. We're just going to say Moyi because it does have the highest potential in the opening stages. What we're going to do is special summon the Adara right here and then normal summon the Moyi. Moyi will reveal the Vashuda to be able to special summon a token. And then instead of going Moyi plus the token into a Shishao, we'll actually just synchro into five right here. We're going to go ahead and make that Dinglong. Now, the effect of our Moyi will be Chain Link 2, Denglong will be Chain Link 1. We'll be able to draw an additional card from our decks to our hand. Um, let's just say it's a hand trap like Effect Veiler. Denglong will add a Yang Zing card from the deck to the hand. That's nine pillars of the Yang Zing. Next, we'll use Denglong's other ability, allowing us to send Ashina from the deck to the graveyard. And then we'll activate the effect of Ashina, which will lock us into worms because we do have a non-effect uh, monster on the field. This time around, I would go with Shathana since I already have a banishable target in my graveyard. And I'm going to use both of these monsters for a Synchro Summon. We are going to Synchro Summon into a Shi Shao here using the effect of Shi Shao to gain another search. I'm going to search Sword Soul Blackout from my deck to my hand. And in this particular combo, instead of Shi Shao plus Blackout Pass, I actually have a different sequence. We have a Nine Pillars of Yang Zing, which is an Omni Negation, being able to stop an opponent's monster spell or trap. We also have Shi Shao to be able to banish a card like Sword Soul Moyi uh, from the Banish Pile to be able to disrupt. On the following turn, if we get a normal monster like Bashuda to our side of the field, we can use Adara to be able to gain the Moyi back into our hand. But also, we also have Sword Soul Blackout, which can destroy a worm monster on our field alongside of our opponent's two cards, making our combo a little bit more dangerous. So with the next combo, there's actually so many different lines that can make this completely insane. And there's so many different outcomes depending on what you're playing. But the biggest thing about this combo is that you still do not need Suwani and Jouto in your deck. You just still need to play that nine pillars of the Yang Zing. So consider maybe potentially playing it. Um, the most important cards for this combo is Ashina and Adara, but Vessel is a little bit stronger. And then of course, we're gonna need a monster to be able to normal summon. I'm gonna select Taya because it is the stronger out of all of them right now. And is a very good reason why I consider playing three. But I think a lot of people will call me all types of names if I play three. But what we're gonna do is start off by activating Ashina and then summoning itself to the side of the hill using it for a link into Monk of the Tingi, and then activating Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. With the effect of Vessel, we'll send one more monster, we'll send Taya from the deck to the graveyard, and then we'll add an Adara from our deck to our hand. And because we still control no effect monsters, we'll special summon Adara. I'll then activate the effect of Ashina. Keep in mind, we're locked into Worms for the rest of the turn. I'll use that to special summon Shathana. Now, there is a big reason why I play Mapura, you guys heard it, but Shathana is actually going to shine. So if you guys want to decide between Shathana and Mapura, I would 100% play the Shathana for the line that I'm about to show you. We'll then Synchro Summon with both Adara and the Shathana into a Denglong, using the effect of Denglong to be able to add from the deck to the hand, I'll add nine pillars of Yangzing. I am going to normal summon Taya to my side of the field. Now the effect of Taya will banish Taya to be able to special summon a token back to my side of the field, and here's where we have so many decision trees. I'm actually going to send Sword Soul Moye, and then I'm gonna activate the effect of Adara. I'm gonna banish it to add 
Taya back from my uh, Banish Pile to my hand. Also, another thing I want to mention is that if you are playing the Yang Zing package, you can Synchro into 8 right here, then use Deng Long to summon Suwani and Synchro into another 8. So you can have a monster like Draco Berserker of Tingi, and then you can also follow up with a monster like Shi Shao and have a potential Sinister Wong Yuan on your board. Let me show you. So these two monsters would Synchro summon into your Shi Shao. Taya Chain Link 3, Dang Long Chain Link 2, Shi Shao Chain Link 1. I would send the Ashina from the graveyard for follow up, and then I would add from my deck to my hand the Long Yuan, and then I would special summon from my deck to the side of the field, Sani. From here, we can go Long Yuan effect, pitching the Taya, summoning itself, gaining a token, and then synchro summoning those two off. We can make the Sinister Long Yuan here, and then we can synchro summon with the token and the Sawani right here. Here's our Draco Berserker of Tingi, and we can draw an additional card. Let's just say it's an Ash Blossom. So as you can see, this could be an alternate inboard if you have Sawani, but that's not the line that I was gonna show you. Let's go back. In this situation, we could Synchro Summon using both of these two monsters for a Boxia, and then we'll trigger the effect of our Taya to get follow-up. Boxia could spin two of our opponent's cards, but that's not the important thing. We'll use Boxia to destroy itself to be able to special summon Moyi, Moyi reveal Taya, get a token, and then Synchro Summon again. This time around, we'll go into the Shi Shao. Shi Shao Chain Link 1, Moye Chain Link 2. Let's just say we draw a hand trap like Ash Blossom. We'll then search Sword Soul Blackout. And the reason why we did it in this particular sequence is because right here, we have a plethora of disruptions as well as a lot of follow-up. Sorto Blackout can not only destroy Monk of the Tingy to destroy two of our opponent's cards, but since we also have Shathana, we can banish it to summon Monk of the Tingy back and destroy another card. Of course, you already know about the Shi Shao Negate, but we also have nine pillars of the Yang Zing to be able to destroy the Deng Long. And of course, we have follow-up in Sword Soul Taiye, something that Sword Soul has lacked from time to time. It's actually extremely crazy what you can do with Deng Long inside of your deck, but let me show you the reason why we play both Suwani and the Xiaoto. Okay guys, so for the last combo, it really is only two cards. The only problem is that you have to play Xiaoto and Suwani in your deck. So go ahead and make that decision. This combo is a little bit ridiculous. I just thought it would be some information I'd share with you. What we'll do is we'll start off by summoning Ashina, then using Ashina for a link into Monk, activating the Vessel. We will send any Worm Monster from our deck to the graveyard. I'm gonna send Moyi from the deck to the graveyard to be able to add the Adara here. We'll then activate the effect of Adara to summon itself and then banish the Ashina to be able to special summon from the deck to the side of the field. That's gonna be Shathana. With Shathana and our Adara, we're gonna go ahead and Synchro Summon right here. We are going to make the Denglong using the effect of Denglong to add a Yangzing card from our decks to our hand, but it's not gonna be Nine Pillars. It's actually going to be Swan. We can then use Denglong's other effect to send Mapora from the deck to the graveyard, and now our normal tokens can't be targeted by our opponent unless they want to fear something. From here, we'll commit our normal summon to the Suwani, which is the reason why we play the card. We'll synchro summon into eight with Denglong and our Suwani into our Boxio right here, using the effect of our Suwani to now special summon from the deck. I'll now summon Xiaoto to my side of the field, and it would have been really cool to have a light and a dark monster that I can synchro summon into Chaos Angel, but unfortunately, because of Ashina, we're locked into Worms. What I will, though, do is use the effect of Adara, will banish itself to be able to add Ashina from our deck to our hand, and then I'll use the effect of Boxia. I'll destroy the Monk of the Tingyi to be able to special summon the Moyi to my side of the field using its effect, revealing the Ashina to be able to get a token. I'll Synchro Summon with the Boxia and the Xiaoto. I'll make Sinister Sovereign Long Yuan, and then the Moye plus the token will Synchro Summon into my favorite combo of all time, we are going to make the Shi Shao. We'll make Moye Chain Link 3, Shi Shao Chain Link 1, Long Yuan Chain Link 2 to avoid Ghost Ogre and anything else. So here I can draw two cards, which could potentially be hand interruptions, and then I can search from my deck to my hand. We could search the Long Yuan and make another level 10 monster to our side of the field, but what I like doing in this particular situation, if we didn't draw follow-up, like if we didn't draw a Heavenly's Dragon Cycle or maybe a, another monster to be able to approach, we just search the tie -up. In this particular situation with just two cards, literally two cards that just would have gotten us a search, we get our full combo with Long Yuan and Shi Xiao. We also have two additional cards in our hand alongside of two searched and added cards in our hand. And then uh, we also have 
three regular cards in our hand. So we have some room to be able to decide on what we want to do. Maybe we search the blackout and we set it. Maybe we search, if we have a worm monster, we search the long you want and we summon it. But regardless, we have enough cards to be able to play with. Keep in mind, under this circumstance, if I didn't draw a trap card, or a spell card to use, I would have to discard, so it's gonna be up to you to make that decision. That's pretty much all that I have for the new Sword Soul Tingy Yang Zing deck. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but more importantly, check out these videos as well, as I'll catch you on the next one.